So, why did we start this podcast? How about let's start with that? Okay. Uh, or why are we starting this podcast? Well, first off, we want people to know the truth. There's lots going on in the world and a way bigger agenda than we're all aware of. We've all been lied to for years and years and years. And and yeah. we're still being lied to and it's it's getting worse and worse. Like it's getting pathetic how how stupid they are about it. It's, it's becoming so they're becoming so arrogant and about the way they're doing things and people still believe them and we just want everyone to see what we see. And I don't know if it's because we've lost everything that we think a different way or see a different way, but I don't know. <laughs> so, why did we start this, Jay? So, my reason for wanting to start this podcast is, first of all, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, well, we're inspired. Um, probably Joe Rogan was probably the first inspiration for his podcast. Meeting all these interesting people and um, just always having people that make a difference in the world or show him or teach him new things so that was our first person we were inspired by yeah and i like uh sam tripoli oh, i yeah, think he's, he's actually the one that where i've decided that you know may i might as well start my own podcast with my wife because we just want to talk about stuff and why and not why not be able to have a conversation and just discuss things that are going on in the world right now exactly and how crazy people are just like the way the world is right now it's really stupid but i guess it's always been a crazy world but it's just our eyes are <laughs> wide open and with the power of the internet now and everything it's i know i keep going back and forth here because i don't know how i i need to adjust my <laughs> we're my new face. to this podcasting so we're trying we're testing we're right testing. now this is our first episode so yeah, yeah. fly on the wall fly on the wall inspired by moi because, you know, that reference to be the fly on the wall or to be that fly on the wall. Thought it was cool. And also, Tim Foyha was already uh, taken. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Tim yeah, Foyha. and I mean, conspiracies are just two people that conspire to do something. So, I mean, being a conspiracy theorist is just saying, hey, these two people conspired. Two or more people conspired to do something. That's all you're saying. Yeah. And that's the same thing, too, with the... The climate change and climate or, emergency, yeah, climate, climate emergency, emergency and the the uh, what do you call it? Global warming. Yeah. But then they can't say just global warming because you know we could go into an ice age too. So that's climate change. But thing is, climate change has been around forever mm -hmm. since the world's been around. The climate's always changed. So no one's denying that the climate changes. So stop with the climate, climate denying. Climate. No, no one yeah. fucking cares. Yeah, honestly, the world repairs itself. If we're the cause or we're the, a part of the cause. The world is the like fuck. a self-regulate. It regulates. Yeah, itself. it self-regulates. So if people forget that the world does that, like, honestly, we're not climate deniers. It's, it's, it's kind of pathetic. And the world's going to do what the world's going to do, and you're not going to be able to control it. So and stop honestly, trying to, to extort us, everyone. No, to call us carbon deniers or anything remotely that stupid. Um, us, us here, we are very low carbon emission users or takers or whatever. We don't go anywhere. We don't go anywhere. <laughs> we so don't go on vacations the people who because are, we can't afford to go on exactly, vacation because, because we're getting we're constantly extorted, extorted by, by the government. Yeah, because the government is the biggest mob in the fucking world. Yeah. They force. Well, they no, the government's just a tool for... Oh, the ones that the that control the world. Yeah, because honestly, the government is not run by. It's just actual, a tool, just like money is just, just a tool. Yeah, it's all just tools to control people. Yeah, mind control. Yes, and once you learn to, what was I gonna say? <laughs> once you learn, when, when, once who's you really in power, who really, who's really in control of the world? I guess would it be that? No. No. no, you cut me off though. Now I forgot. Well, you forgot. You drew a blank. So I drew a blank, I and then no, but then I recovered. But then I didn't. You so didn't recover. I didn't recover. You went full retard. <laughs> you never go full retard, but I went full retard. You didn't recover. 
Oh, and also, go fuck yourselves. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that'll be cut out. Okay, so, so all that. I, uh, what? <laughs> I said so all that. Oh, because I touched it. Okay. Just doom, 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 doom. Okay. Um. So what are we talking about? We're talking about <clears throat> the government and conspiring, and then we Conspiracy. went. Ancient, uh, ancient, civilizations. ancient civilizations. Okay, ancient civilizations. We're gonna touch that topic, or we're gonna con- well, we can just talk about is- talk about all the ancient civilizations that we're not taught in school. Like I, I feel. Oh, like that's, that's, mis- uh, fuck, there's another thing. Schools, public schools, okay. not the same as uh, private schools no, because private the elite. Schools. That's where they send their their kid. But if you're going to uh, government funded. A private or public school, you're you're basically you're being indoctrinated, and your kids are being indoctrinated. If you don't learn anything except for what the state wants you to learn, which is to be good to them and to follow orders and to do what they want you to do, and if you don't follow orders, then you get in trouble. And but if you step in line and follow their rules, then you'll do just fine. They want robots, pretty mind much mind control. My, they want to be no. They want okay. So anyone that's not by the book or not well, no, that's not how you would say it. They want they okay. So they teach a certain way, and it's actually not the majority of kids actually don't learn in this particular manner. They make it boring to learn. Yeah. They make it so it no one wants to learn, and that's the whole point of it. It's kind of a fifty-fifty, they, right? Like when I was in school. I didn't want to be there because they don't make it inviting. They don't make it. They don't look at what you're good at and say, hey, we should work on that and make you the best at what you can be because everyone has different skills, but they want everyone to follow a strict line and stay in order. And if you don't do that, then you just, you're going to be punished. And then you're punished by, uh, you're punished for ridiculous reasons sometimes. Still are. Oh, actually, a lot of times. Parking ticket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I'm not going to (laughs) pay. Oh, those parking tickets. And then they're going to oh. keep accumulating when I don't. But when you can't go anywhere without having to pay for parking. But you can't just, it's not just paying for parking. Oh, yeah. You need a credit card. They're not going to take cash. They're not going to take debit. No, they're not going to take card. debit card and credit. That's only credit card. So they force you to ha- into their system of debt that they always want you to do. Oh, well, even going on a plane. Yeah. Like the, same thing you, on, they, they, they remove want, the cash. Because they want a cashless society. Yeah, and because it's really annoying, especially because we went bankrupt. They can't control all the cash, but they can control you if it's numbers on the screen. Yeah. They can go, oh, yeah, there goes your account. Yeah. You can't eat now. You can't pay your rent. You can't live. Yeah, well. And why, why is it that someone else can say, you can't live, you can't eat, you can't do that. They can starve you out. Why? Uh, why? That doesn't make sense. No one should. No one should starve. No, no one not when there's so on. much abundance in the world that that a few certain groups control all of it, or a certain a few amount of people control all of the wealth. They control all of the foods, the food sources. They control all of that. Oh, they can, it's a whole monopoly. These, well, just uh, the elite. They're the ones controlling everyone. They control everything. And we need to wake up. And all we are is literally in the fucking matrix. So what else are we going to talk about? That's Most, really what we're in. Uh, uh, language manipulation. A lot of that happening. Yep. It's been happening for a long time, but we're controlled by language and we're enslaved by language. We're yeah. enslaved by language, but it's what you allow to enslave you too. Signing contracts constantly is... And there's always loopholes. There's loopholes. And that we're not weary of, but the people with money or people who can afford a lawyer can always get away with... Yeah. Pretty it, much anything. If you've got money, you can get away with pretty much anything. Look at Epstein. Well, he's not oh. he's not done yet, no, but he, take a look at his last time. If he would have just gone off and did nothing else, he'd probably be fine. But no. No, no. he Got to continue that lifestyle. I had to dip back into those little children. Because there's <laughs> such a big pedophile ring. Oh, yeah. That's so, another thing. We that's should, another that thing. That would be a there's, whole... There's so many things to talk about. That different topics. just... There's just, so much bad in the world, but there's also so much good. We just want to sit here and have a conversation. Maybe yeah. have some guests and see what they think about certain things. Uh, yeah, just put your theories down. and How 
the the climate emergency. That's fucking bullshit. Uh, taxation is extortion. It's theft. theft. It's theft. theft. Straight theft. up theft. They're li- honestly, <clears throat> if if you think it think of it this way, if all of us were not being taxed to death, how much more money would we have? How, how much, much better more? would your life be? Yeah. Like if you everything. weren't being extorted every time you made a dollar, every time you spent a dollar. Every t- like, why are we still being taxed for cars? Like, every time it transfers. The transfer trans- taxes, we're exactly. Paying tra- or our house. Like, this is ridiculous. Back in, the, what, the 1900s, they, they didn't have a taxation and seemed like they had a lot of abundance. No one was... thing is, why why is it a certain entity or group can go... And extort other people's money and give it away to other people or people that they want to. That's that's theft. If it, if I was to go over to someone else's house, me and I get a bunch of my buddies, and we go over and knock on the door and say, "Well, we want we want uh, a certain percent of how much you make because we want to give it to a charity." Would that make it right, or would I be wrong? I'd be wrong, obviously, but because I'm not the government. But it, as long as it's the government that comes and knocks on your door and says, "Hey, give me so much of how much you make, so much of how you spend." And if you don't, I'm going to throw you in a cage or I'm going to fucking kill you. Or I'm going to send you uh, brown envelopes until yeah. you pay up or you have well, to go bankrupt, that, which that, is what that, we that, had. <laughs> that's just another thing. Oh, yeah. I used to be afraid of brown envelopes from the government because all it was was a tax debt. It was either corporate taxes, it was payroll taxes, or any other fucking taxes. Anyways, I'm not afraid of them no more because they're a bunch of fucking losers. No, I'm sorry. Not all of them. There are some that are paid, and they're just also the ones that are the puppets. And that, I mean, I Trudeau. One. Trudeau. He's a piece of shit. Oh, just like crown monopolies? Oh, yeah, crown monopolies. Crown oh, monopolies and, like, that why? When, when ICBC? It, okay, it's one thing having a, a private monopoly. You know, it's a company that they've got them everywhere. It's all the big corporations that own the government as well. But... What I'm saying is, why does our government have yeah, monopolies? Why like Why are they ICBC. for profit? Like BC Hydro. They're for profit. Like, yeah. come on. And why Why is our government buying up uh, pipelines? Yeah. For billions. Exactly. Uh, uh, did I say that I wanted to be part of that pipeline? Am I getting money back for that purchase, that investment as a taxpayer? Am I getting some of that money back? No, I'm not getting that money back. You'll never see that money again because it's not my money. No, it's their money. Sorry. They extorted it from us. They took it from us. And now they, they, they the spend it so to. that they can make more money for their pockets, not for ours. Not yeah, for it, yours, not for yours, not for yours. Yeah, but I mean, like, honestly, we all have cell phones. Everyone has a smartphone. How hard is it to for every, every time something, or, uh, something gets passed or a bill gets passed, you say yay or nay? On your phone, you just get a notification. Year and no. eight. That's all. Why do we need politicians? At some and, uh, on the other side of the country. I'm not even close to where they are. The ones that make all the rules. The ones that that create the laws that that will punish me if I break them. Uh, stupid laws. Stupid laws. Oh yeah, petty. Stupid laws, laws like like. Um, well, let's see. Okay, so say you're out and you are driving, and then you go home and you have a drink. Or a couple drinks after you're home, after you stop driving. After a long day of two uh, hours forceful after, working. In BC, two hours after you've been driving, they can still come arrest you, impound your car, uh, give you impaired, suspicion. take your license away on suspicion that you were uh, drinking, drinking and, and driving. driving. After you've been at home for two hours. Yeah. In those two hours, you could have had three glasses of wine. Typical for me. No, I'm just joking. Or I mean, even two beers. And they'll pound your car. Like, come on. It happened to a lady. It's ridiculous. And she she ended up winning. And she was from BC visiting. I think she was from... Oh, I think she know. was from the island. And the she island, was going to Kamloops to go pick up her kids or something. I don't know. What yeah, the anyways. Was, the whole story. Uh, so, long story short. Uh, she ended up... She had to fight it in court. She won because it was a stupid law. But still... But, but how much lost mo- her, her impound how much, fees. Yeah, how much she money never- did it cost her? How much of her time? How much stress? How much all of this? Why, why, why do you have to stress out so much? Well, they were traveling. So yeah. they lost their car that they were traveling and, with. And to be, that's like guilty before proven, being, yeah. Yeah, it's guilty. minority report. Before proven, yeah. Yeah. So like pre-crime. Yeah, but then they also got the thought police. Did you have that police? Yeah, pretty much. 1984. Pretty much. <laughs> That was depressing. 
So, yeah, another thing is why do we need government? How would your life be better or would your life be better without government? Would it be, be better with a bigger government? I don't think well, so. Well, people think without government that everyone's going to go on a fucking purge. It's not going to no one yeah, like, is going to uh, go like, on a fucking purge. Like, like no one has any self-control. Like yeah. a, if there was no government, people would just be going around murdering everyone or extorting like, people you, you, or you, stealing. You can't go have a conversation with someone. It, it's everyone's going to be murdering each other, stealing everything and that's that. Now, even police, like we need just a, a minimalistic for police too. We don't need them enforcing stupid laws, stupid laws, hopping on buses and and looking through windows to see if Which someone's happened. checking their phone at a, a, a light. Yeah. Honestly, like yes, there's casualties and whatnot, and I understand. Um, I don't want to be insensitive to other people, but there's better use for our tax dollars with. Than, than to police us and to police and to enforce and the extort way they're us. policing. Like if you're ex like, I know people will say that's being like being harmful with a cell phone and whatnot. But the way you're doing it or the way they're going about it is not right. They should be doing it the proper way. But um. But what? Why, why do we need a bigger police force? To the only reason why we need a bigger police force is to enforce laws that none of us make. Yeah. That and that's another thing is why do we have such like with taxes and everything else what with lawyers like why why do we have laws that we don't understand that only lawyers can we need a lawyer to understand well not just not just that but um i mean wh why do big corporations get bailouts yeah, you another, know what if they fail one. they should fail i don't yeah. care who's affected or why you know what happens is they get that bailout and they give those ceos all the bailout money they promise on their contracts because they don't want to break their contracts. Yeah. But you know what? How is that fair? We had to go bankrupt. But the we thing were is, a small business. They, they, but they get their bailouts and then all the CEOs get their bonuses. Yeah. Because yeah. It was, well, it's because they're, they're you know. You know, like you didn't do a good job, so here's an extra bonus because you couldn't make money on, with your company. But you know, here you go. Well, like I mean, how many people do you know have been affected by? Monopolies or uh, big corporations changing uh, company Main, names. The, the mainstream media bailout. Or right. no, no, I mean like overweighties <clears throat> and uh, how it was save on and and oh, you're, overweighties. You're, you're talking about rebranding, but that's, rebranding. For, that's for different purposes. Yeah, that's, for contracts yeah. to break their contracts so they can get rid of the the people with these contracts and they give them a buyout. Yeah, but these are people that collected a pension for how many years? Like people have to wake up because. You know what? Things aren't they're, getting better. They're not getting better. They're, they're getting, getting worse. They're not getting better. No. And honestly, and I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like things are like there's a the housing bubble is going to it's going to erupt. It's going to erupt. And I don't know I don't what's going to happen. Bubbles erupt. Oh, whatever. And they pop. It'll pop. <laughs> It'll pop. Rice crap. Uh, rice. If it was a volcano. It might erupt though. Shut up. <laughs> we'll bleep that out, asshole. <laughs> I'm here for my non looks. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, oh, what's that? O S D. What's that? Uh, it's not showing on mine. Oh, um, okay. Good. Anyways, yeah, no, I like everyone's like, oh yeah, my house is my, that. And everyone is taught <laughs> something. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so we're all taught, you know, get a job. Yeah. Buy a house, have some kids, settle down, and retire. Have that four hundred one k. The problem is that our monetary system is a big Ponzi scheme. The well, also you can't retire in a four hundred one. Uh, you can't retire. They're not allowing no you re to retire. Yeah. No, you, no, and then maybe they maybe like sixty five unla now. Unless you work for the government, then you got free, freedom fifty five. Retire at fifty five with a nice juicy pension. Taxpayers pay for that. Yeah. For what? So that these people can sit down. Uh, for tw what is it, 120 days that they actually have to work, and then the rest they get off. Like what? Yeah, they, I don't know. And they get paid. They get paid. We like, have to look that up. Yeah, the, the members of parliament. Parliament. Oh, you mean the members of parliament? Mem I thought you meant like government. Uh, no, government. No, like members of parliament. Oh yeah. That's only cool. have to work like 120 days out of the year. Oh, and, and then they, they can write and off and their and shit. Make, and they make a lot of money. A oh. lot of taxpayers' money. And people really have to realize, like, um, all these. Um, all these like auctions or not auctions all these um charities oh you know how like uh that's yeah, just another thing another yeah, no, there's, no. there's so many rabbit tax write-offs like so i mean this is how the elite work is uh, remember what's her face from amazon from amazon 
the girl, her husband was cheating. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the girl that... Yeah. The ex-wife of... Uh, yeah, ex-wife. Anyways, because she, she got cheated on. Everyone's like, oh, she's so nice. She donated m- uh, most of her wealth to, to a charity, a charity oh. donation. The same one that... What's his face? Um, what, Bill Gates? Or? Not Bill Gates. Um... What is it? To the Clinton Foundation? No, it wasn't the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> no, it was uh, the guy who bought um, Burns and Nobles. Burns and Noble? Bur- not Burns and Noble, the other one. Oh, fuck. What's his name? I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. Anyways, so anyway, she donated her percentage of her wealth to uh, this charity. And what people don't understand is this charity is just so that she doesn't have to pay taxes on what yeah, she was that given. That money is basically that money going is right back into Going into a shell, uh, something pretty much, and she'll probably get a salary base and be able to she write shit need off. A salary. Oh, yeah. They no. don't need a salary. The, the, the way the rich do it is they hired lawyers to find all the loopholes so they don't they pay zero in taxes. Well, you pay even uh, as... You you make a minimal amount of money. It's not just a lawyer and an accountant. The, well, they, they ha- pay for it all, no. but the, it's all done through lawyers because lawyers, everything's done through law and legality. And uh, like a lawyer, basically, it's a different language. Having oh, yeah. a lawyer is like being having an interpreter. Oh, so, it pretty much is. So like say top data. So say you want to uh, do something in a language that you don't understand, but you know what you want to do. You got an interpreter for it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that. The majority of people don't have. So why are all our laws written so that lawyers understand it, but people don't? And like, why do you need a lawyer to represent you? No, you should you be able to law? represent you yourself. You should be able to represent yourself because the law, the law should be easy enough for anyone to understand. If it's not that easy, then it's going to enslave you because they're going to write it and manipulate it so that it controls you. Yep. I agree 100%. Oh, any other topics for today? Or is- we got lots of topics, but... But this is kind of... Our test. Yeah. I know so, if we've done... Uh, I mean, we're going to chop and cut this and do all that. It's not going to be a live thing because we suck at doing live shit. Well, we, this is just a start, right? And we'd love to have some guests. Uh, maybe we can research and find some people who know more things than we do. <laughs> well, I mean, we've done a lot of research, but I mean, when the camera's in your face, it's a little different than when you're talking naturally in the car. Well, we just gotta and you don't get it. stumped. You don't so, get stumped as much. <laughs> how about instead of looking at ourselves right now, yeah. we just move this over to videos over here. And just have a conversation. Now, oh, let's, oh wait, I wanted to, this is the one. Oh, God. <laughs> this, this one, one, made, this one me, made me laugh so Oh, much. me too. Like I was like, what the that, fuck? Okay. From NBC News, this was... They, they think this is newsworthy. This was pub- published on... Uh, July 23rd. Yeah, July 23rd. This, yeah, not too long ago. Yeah. This is pathetic. Like, really, I, I don't want to, yeah. Across the DOD, we lose about one soldier per year to severe exertional heat stroke or other related injuries. <laughs> so how is this newsworthy? One casualty. One. I yep. understand someone lost someone, but for one casualty, this is newsworthy. No, this is for climate change. This is the agenda. This is what they're pushing, climate change, for one of their soldiers. Let's just rewind it here a little bit so you can hear what he says. Or other, like, injury or something like that here. Across the DOD, we lose about one soldier per year to severe exertional heat stroke or other related injuries. Okay, what's other related injuries? Like, what the hell does that mean? Yeah, what is other... Okay, so this guy could have died... A different way than than the, what he's the, trying to push. The, this is the United States military that's talking here. Let's just let it play through so they can see. Really? As an emergency physician, I've seen firsthand the devastation that these illnesses. Illnesses. Uh, How is that an illness? That's not an illness. Heartbreaking. What is an illness? What what are they talking about? How is that an illness? This person's died of heat stroke. Is that what my understanding is? Right. It's a disease or period of sickness affecting the body or mind. Okay, so I guess it would be an illness, technically. I guess technically. it would be technically an illness, but still, what? <laughs> do you feel bad for the big, big bad U.S. government that they're going to have some, one person? I, I think there's more people that die from heat, heat, 
in the states, like well, in the in the United quite States. Quite honestly, like, the, those in uh, those in less fortunate areas of the United States die frequently. Older, um, a lot of elderly die because yeah. they don't have access to air uh, air, air conditioning. conditioning. And that's not being a cause for concern. No, it's people in the military. Right. But you know how good they are with yeah, their military. A family that their you know, young promising soldier is, is no longer with us because they died from... Young you promising, know, what does that mean? Preventable in training. I don't know. Probably killed them. Heat uh, casualties. As the temperature rises, so... Casualties. Uh, that's a plural. <laughs> plural. One person died. And that's on average, so probably in most part, maybe it's one person doesn't die. Yeah, <laughs> I exhaustion. know. But didn't they say it has doubled? I don't know. Yeah, at the beginning yeah. they said it has it doubled. to be the very highly motivated soldiers who suffer those really severe heat strokes. They're highly motivated. Why are they highly motivated? That highly motivated to get dehydrated? Drink some water. Since 2008, the number of <laughs> heat strokes drinking. among active duty service members has nearly doubled. Oh. As the effects of climate change continue and temperatures rise higher, the threat to military heat personnel strokes. Uh, I have heat, I get heat stroke on a regular. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Well, yeah, heat stroke going to the beach. I go to the beach and I'm heat stroke. Uh, I get heat stroke. An enormous training population, so we see hundreds. But they fall to heat illness. illness. Depending on heat illness is what they call it. What to make it sound so it needs to be. I fall into heat like illness that, too and had to like puke because of heat stroke. You know how many people are affected by heat stroke every day? Three times more likely to suffer heat stroke than other enlisted members. Yeah, because maybe you should allow adequate time out of the sun temperatures they're fighting a culture that pushes young cadets to exceed their limits oh, well don't push them to exceed their limits then heat exposure during training since 2008 how many was that one probably in june of 2008 uh, not far 17 service members have died 17. from heat exposure during training since 2008 yeah 2008 so that's not doubled that is not doubled. What the fuck are they talking about? That's what they're talking about. Doubled 2008, 17 casualties. Hmm. How is that relevant? U.S. military. Let's see. Suicide. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, how do you spell suicide? I D E. Yeah, there you go. Huh. Let's see, per day, should we go per year? Let's go per day. Per day. 22. 22. So there's oh. 22, 22 per a day. day, per day, on so, average of, I think it was like 7,500 a so year. So the Army suffered 52% of the suicides from, from all, all branches. branches in 2013. So what's worse? Hmm. Suicide seven, rate? Se, no, no, 17 people that have died from since heat 2000, exhaustion. Since 2008. Since 2008. And this is newsworthy. Yeah. Uh, but why aren't they covering the 22 that are killing themselves every fucking day? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is that? And wh what do they do to their veterans? They throw them out on the streets with no pension. Yeah, they come back all fucked up. Yeah, they all come, screwed up. Uh, but no fucked up in the head, fucked up physically. No PT. No, they can't like, get a job, can't do nothing, can't support themselves. The, the government doesn't help them do anything. Whatsoever. What do they do? They turn to a gun and they shoot themselves. Or they turn to drugs. And then... And, and then... They turn that around and go, oh, look, the, all this gun violence. Most, if you look at the most of the gun violence, it's people shooting themselves. It's, it's suicide. Yeah. In the States, the majority of them is suicide. Yeah. Or so like they're, they're uh, or gun like, violence. No, and it's also like mur murder-suicide with like their whole family. Sometimes. A lot of times. Because it's probably because they have no money and the government has fucked them over. Yeah. <laughs> United States military veteran suicide. Let's take a look at this. Say in 2012 alone, an estimated 7,500 former military personnel died by suicide. Is this a problem? That's newsworthy, bitches. I think this is more of a problem than this. Than a climate change. In June of 2018, 25-year-old Army reservist Kaylin McLemore became the latest confirmed service member to die from a heat-related illness. See now, That's better now, than suicide. Now they're 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 calling out this one soldier and saying, "Oh, they died from this." But how many did they show for suicide? How why why don't they help the people that they're putting to war? That they're making do atrocious things to uh, atrocious atrocious. atrocious. Sorry, yeah. That's close. Atrocious things. Yeah. Okay. Let me read. Phrase that then. Yeah. Rephrase, rephrase. Atrocious. Atrocious. They Why? do atrocious things. 
they're forced to do atrocious things if they don't if they they say no i don't want to do it then they get what, what is that called when treason. you is it treason or is it um or they you're, uh you're, i guess you're considered a traitor well if you don't not do it. Uh, no it wouldn't be treason i think it would be um uh they would uh, what's it called oh it's on the tip the, of my tongue yeah it's um it's not <laughs> oh. it's kind of like a traitor um it's kind of treason, but it's not. It's that's not anyways. The word. They'll go to jail if they don't do what they're told to do, and yeah. a lot of times they don't want to do it, but they have to do it. And then they come back and they're all fucked up, and the government doesn't do anything because the government's bullshit, and they're just about themselves, and they're just about controlling everyone. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They don't care about anyone. They don't care about anyone but themselves. They care about uh, having us as a write off. And like seriously, money, mon- we- money is just a tool. It's just a tool to control. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think that's all for today, isn't it? I guess so. I don't know. Or do we have any more topics? Well, I'm sure we'll have more topics in the future, but I think for, for today, now, I think this is that's all, out. folks. Signing out. Fly on the wall. Podcast. Catch you on episode two. Let us know what you want us to talk about in the next podcast. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, catch us on Float uh, as well. Float.app. Float. App, so F-L-O-T-E, F-L-O-T-E dot, dot A-P-P. A-P-P. Oh, there you go. And uh, we'll be going on a few other um, platforms, but right now it'll be YouTube and Float and BitChute well, probably. Yeah, BitChute. BitChute. Uh, catch us on all. We'll put it in the, in the, just, yeah, in the description below. <laughs> and all right, guys. hopefully we'll have some merch. Eventually. Eventually. But, yeah. Check us out, fly on the wall.